How's it going guys? So the next update for Horizon 5 is going to be called the Horizon Race Off. We can see on screen right now a few of the little clues that we've gotten so far for this update. Now there is another important clue for this update that has been found that we're going to touch on today because it might tell us a bit about what's exactly coming in this next update in just over a week's time. Now really quickly before we do, as you know I give away codes all the time for any car packs that are ongoing in Horizon 5. On screen right now these are all of the codes I have left. People still just aren't claiming these codes it's quite unbelievable if you are in need of any of these car packs you want a chance to win it pick which one you want let me know in the comment section below include your gamer tag so I can message you and make sure you're subscribed and I pick loads of people all the time and just send codes out so the horizon race off so what have we got now obviously it's coming out on the 28th of March that's just under two weeks from now the update will be announced just over a week from now so the first widget is race off takeover now race off takeover could mean a lot of things the saying race off and the saying takeover again both have lots of different meanings in the car world let's discuss now what this could exactly be as I do think this is a very relevant and important feature for this update there's another clue that we should take into consideration though. Every month when we get an update announced, there's a blog post to accompany it, explaining what's in the new update, as I'm sure you're aware. At the bottom of the blog post, they always talk and hint at the next update. This is what it says for the Horizon Race Over update. Wait for the light to turn green and floor the accelerator. The Horizon Festival is off to the races with Horizon Race Off, the next update coming to Forza Horizon 5. Get ready, set and go for Horizon Race Off. Now, I'm sure you noticed the same thing that I noticed. The, the, the line that says, wait for the light to turn green and floor the accelerator, sounds very much like a drag race. So the first possibility of what this race off takeover could be is the, the, the drag race PR stunts that we've been waiting for for ages now, since they were leaked a long time ago. From what we've seen, it seems as if Playground Games were planning a drag racing themed update where we brought launch control, a load of new cars, all sorts of stuff in one big update. I think they changed their mind on the entire drag racing update, but it seems like this update may be the update we get the drag racing PR stunt with the functional lights. There has been text found in the files talking about the drag racing lights actually being functionable. Maybe that's what Race Over Takeover is. After all, on the little logo, we've got two helmets sort of facing off. Drag races usually have two people. It sounds like that's a certain possibility. Race Off Takeover, the drag racing PR stunts, maybe it's coming with the functional drag lights. If we're getting an update like that, it could also mean that the new cars are drag themed as well. And I think a lot of people would like that. The other possibility of what Race Over Takeover could mean is that yes, we get functional lights that tell us when to go and to turn and to floor the accelerator but it might not necessarily be a drag race there is a head-to-head -head feature in Forza Horizon 5 already I'm sure you're aware maybe they're updating that slightly they're overhauling it so you can have a head-to-head -head 1v1 race maybe on any track on the entire on the entire map but it's it's changed up a bit there are ready set go lights at the start of the race a revised version of the already existing head-to-head -head feature. Either way, it does it definitely does seem like whatever's written here is relevant to this race off takeover feature, story, PR stunt, whatever it's gonna be. I do hope it's drag racing related. What do you reckon? Now there are other possibilities as well as race off and takeover in the car world definitely have a lot of meanings. You just have to simply Google race off to see that race off really does give you the vibe of a 1v1 race off. It definitely supports that but the takeover bit is what's interesting. Now if you Google takeover it seems to be heavily a themed around well, what you can see on screen right now. If you're into Instagram, you're into TikTok, I'm, I wouldn't doubt me if you've seen clips of this going around, especially lately. I've seen more of it now than I ever have, of takeovers in the US of streets. People just causing havoc and a lot of people getting injured, to be honest. Now, stuff like this would be really cool in Horizon 5. I don't see how they would implement something like this into Horizon 5, so I don't think that's what the takeover means, but they have used Race Off Takeover sounds like it it might be relevant community challenges is the next bit now this one intrigues me as well because i have gone through every single other um splash screen about an upcoming update all the way back to like series four you can see there's a lot of them on screen 
And there wasn't a single one that has ever said community challenges, I'm pretty sure. It's always just said new events or voted events, new races. This one says new community events, so I don't want to deep dive too much into it just in case it is nothing, but it does make me wonder, what are they doing differently this time? I'll be getting, again, something like the Secret Santa or the World Cup, where us as a community, we work together to complete a challenge rather than just it only being game specific, you know what I mean. I think the game is lacking community challenges. I think it does need more things like the World Cup update we got, like the Secret Santas where everyone works together to get prizes. Maybe there's going to be something like that in there as well. Could it be directly related to the new race of takeover feature, story, whatever it's going to be? Could it be related somehow? It's definitely possible. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below as the new community challenges wording definitely does intrigue me. New cars, a lot of people's favourite topic for every update probably mine as well. We don't really have any guesses or any leaks at all as to what the new cars could be. We've obviously got the leaks car list, you can see that here. Now if a part of this update is to do with racing, maybe we'll get more race themed cars. They do seem to do that rule where if an update is themed around a certain topic or country, the cars we will get will definitely colorate. Col toler colorate? I don't know if that's a word. You know, you can quite often see the relation between what the new cars are and the theme so if we're getting a race themed update hopefully some race cars are coming some quick cars some good cars i know there are a lot of people out there that just want fast race cars maybe this is the update for you same concept for if we are getting drag relating things as well if we do get the drag racing pr stunts drag racing full stop anything drag related then stop go lights definitely hint towards that drag cars might be making their appearance in this update as well there are lots of cars that people are waiting for. We're still waiting for the Maserati MC20. Where on earth is that? We should have had that by now. The Jaguar F-Type, the Bentley Flying Spur, the Lotus Savora. There's a lot of cars recently leaked that I think match this perfectly. But then again, we did say the same about the European Automotive update, about the Maserati MC12 and the Jag and the Bentley. And we didn't get them, did we? So... It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell with the new cars. It's always very random, but the best we can do is just take a look at this list and just maybe get a bit of a gist as to what cars might be coming. Again, pop your predictions in the comment section below. New collectible is the last thing that's coming. We don't really need to talk about that at all. There's always a new collectible in a new update. Pretty much every splash screen has had new collectible on it, so that's irrelevant. I've got high hopes for this update. It seems like it's going to be more than just some new cars, a car pack, and a few little features. There might be a new core, not necessarily core game mode, but a good addition to this update that mixes it up a bit, gives us something new and exciting. It isn't just, again, new cars. We'll have to wait and see. Again, we should find out next week, I think. It might be the week after that on the Monday. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.